All right, eosinophils, fills are next. And let's draw a picture right off the bat because I think that it's interesting to look at what they look like. Eosinophils look like that. They have a similar, like, weird-looking nucleus. It's kind of a bilobed nucleus. And again, the nucleus shape is not going to be your end game way of determining these things. However, eosinophils are filled with granules, and the granules are like, what? They, they pop. They're so bright, and I'm coloring them like orangish-ish because, okay, that looks more reddish-ish, but they're like, they look very different from everybody else, and they kind of pop out as, as a different color. And I'm going to show you one because I think it's cool. Let me find them. There they are. Wait, no, there, there they aren't. For perspective, look at this is a neutrophil. Here's another white blood cell that we haven't looked at yet. This one is a lymphocyte. But look at how they, look at the coloring, and then we're going to head down here till the cytoplasm pops. This is my nucleus, and look at that pink granuly cytoplasm. And I kind of want to go back up. Okay, this is going to take us a while to get back up here. Look, do you see how this looks clearer than that zone right there? See that difference? Okay, let's see if I can do that again. Sure, that doesn't have any granules at all. There he is. Oh, I'm pretty good at that. Okay, so eosinophils are going to pop out at you and be really obvious, and they're filled with granules, which again is related to their function. So this time, oops, these guys actually have granules that they release in response to um, parasites or allergens. And their function is um, cytotoxic. And so think about that for a minute. Cyto means cell, and toxic means dead cell. So eosinophils fly into action and release poison particles. They barf poison chemicals on bad guys and try to destroy them that way. They have been known, they have been observed being phagocytotic or yumptulaziferific. They have been known to phagocytize various substances <clears throat> or yumptulize them because, but they, they're not sure if that's one of their major functions. It makes sense that they're one of their major functions needs to be related to the kinds of granules that they have in their systems. And then the lifespan of these guys, are you ready for this? You thought one to two days wasn't very long like those poor neutrophils. They don't get to live very long. Six to 12 hours. Seriously, they only live for like six to 12 hours. It's not very long. And they're super rare. And so because they're so rare, they're going to be harder to find in our lab today, but they're going to pop out and look really cool. All right. The next one on our list is the basophils. And so then we're going to conclude at, like, why did we do them in this order? I'll be right back.